Trump's call with the Mexican president gets released, NAACP issues a travel advisory, and North Korea plans to send over gift packages? Hi, this is David Dole with Haystack TV, and these are today's top stories. According to a newly released transcript, President Trump's call with Mexican President Peña Nieto from back in January has an interesting gem. So the Mexican president brings up the issue of the border wall, saying, My position has been, and will continue to be very firm, saying that Mexico cannot pay for that wall. And then Trump replies with, You cannot say that to the press. The press is going to go with that, and I cannot live with that. Seemingly more concerned with the press reaction than having to pay for the actual wall. The United States already already spends $3.7 billion per year to keep 21,000 Border Patrol agents on guard, and another $3.2 billion on 23,000 inspectors at ports of entry along the border. And adding to that, Trump's wall has been estimated to cost a whopping $25 billion. And all this when net immigration to the US from Mexico is at zero. So spending money on a wall makes absolutely no sense. In other news, the NAACP is circulating a Missouri travel advisory, warning people of color to go at your own risk. The advisory comes following the passing of Senate Bill 43 through the Missouri Legislature in June. With Missouri NAACP State Conference calling the legislation a Jim Crow bill, SB 43 makes it more difficult for people to sue a business for race discrimination. The advisory is for people to be aware and warn their families and friends and co-workers of what could happen in Missouri. And finally to North Korea, where the Kim Jong-un regime has threatened the U.S. with gift packages? The North Korean-run newspaper released a column stating, If the U.S. still refuses to accept such a realistic demand and doggedly pursue hostile policy against North Korea in order to save face, she will receive unexpected gift packages, which we will continue to send. Experts say the gift packages are just more planned missile tests. The latest intercontinental ballistic missile test was the most successful one in the history of Pyongyang, flying five minutes longer than its previous launch. The missile flew 2,300 miles into space, about 600 miles higher than the July 4th ICBM. And those were the trending stories for the day. I'm David Dole. See you tomorrow. Subscribe to our channel to get your daily news roundup.